Are you awake? I'm sorry. I had turned off my consciousness to test the new equipment installed on me. Yes, that's why we use the emergency channel. We've been asked to go into action. Has something happened? Who sent the request? We'll brief you on the details in transit. Also, regulations say that the member with the lowest serial number is in command. Currently, that's you. I'm in command? Are you sure about this? After all, I'm... You're well suited for it, in my opinion. Understood. Tell me about the situation and make it quick. We don't have much time. There hasn't been a plane hijacked in this country in over 10 years. None of us, not even me, have dealt with this before. Still, the procedure remains the same. Trust yourself, remember your training, and keep a cool head. Talk to us. Sir, there's a report from HQ. They picked up a transmission from one of the passenger's cell phones. It's a smartphone with GPS, so they can tell it's inside the plane. Confirm those details for me. A man's life is at stake if we don't wrap this up within the hour. It looks like we can't stall for time. What? Withdraw? This is a hijacking! What are you thinking withdrawing our people? Yes, I understand. Wait, what's going on? Orders are orders. We'll fall back at once. Get ready. Who are you? For the next half hour, we're in command of this scene. 
You didn't answer the question. Who's responsible for this? So you're the one in charge? Yes. Are you shitting me? There is no time to waste quarreling. Are you not even gonna tell me who you're with? I cannot. So you expect me to hand over control of the scene to you without even telling me who the hell you are? I believe orders to withdraw have already been issued. Lady, I don't know what kind of juice you have with the brass, but are you ready to be responsible for the deaths of those passengers? Your protests are doing nothing to relieve the danger. Rescuing them as soon as possible is my, or rather, our duty. Have faith in us. We too wish to save them. All right. But you got exactly 30 minutes and not a second more. Understood. Well then, move in as naturally as possible while staying in their blind spots. The closest we can get without them noticing will be about 10 meters from the plane. That will be more than enough. Now, let's begin. What's she doing? What? She jumped? What's she gonna do with that knife? That's just crazy!
Do not be alarmed. I have come to rescue you. Your safety has not been secured yet, so please stay calm and remain in your seats. Excuse me. We were told someone requires medical assistance for their chronic heart illness. His name is... I am impressed with your judgment to stay hidden until an opportunity arose. Ah, and you too. She's done already? It hasn't even been five minutes. There should have been at least three hijackers. You know what they remind me of is those guys. Like men in black or something. Captain, who are those people? Is that one even human? This is just a rumor. But I've heard that the higher-ups formed an unofficial security group in conjunction with a certain corporation. It's supposedly for cases that are a little... strange. I hear they have some official standing with the police, too. Though it's all some private enterprise, so technically, there's no authority involved at all. What? But this is Japan we're talking about! A search-and-destroy unit that answers to no department and keeps no records. I've heard them called Shadow Operatives. A girl? Um, may I check on something? What is it? If you look towards my left, in front of the luggage loading bay is... She's not there. Can't be. What's the matter? Oh, I... I'm sorry. I was apparently seeing things. Are you all right, Mitsuru-san? I guess. I didn't think you'd be the one to come.
In fact, I was surprised to be called on to deal with something like this. The suspects made no demands. What were they after? At first, I thought I was summoned because you were their target, Mitsuru-san. The higher-ups must have thought the same thing and panicked. Especially considering there's cargo on that plane they wouldn't want made public. Hmm, wait a second, that cargo... Is something wrong? This hijack seems strange now that I think about it. They made their move before takeoff, which is odd timing. And they forced the boarding announcement to be stopped. I thought maybe it was their way of trying to pull it off with a small team. Are you saying that rather than a passenger, they were after that cargo? Hmm. It's true that no one would consider the unloaded luggage during a hijacking. I guess I need you to check on my things. Though if I'm right, it's already too late. Even if you're right, why would they be interested in your belongings? My usual cargo wouldn't be worth hijacking a plane over, but I was carrying something sensitive this time. Normally, if they wanted it, they'd have to bypass a Carrillo facility security or attack the vehicle transporting it. But by doing it this way, they can divert the entire country's attention with a few model guns. Mitsuru-san's cargo, sensitive belongings for a vacation. Ah, I understand. Hijacking a plane out of a desperate desire for undergarments. This incident will surely go down in history. What? You're jumping to conclusions. It's not sensitive in that way. Besides, my underwear is in this bag and... That's it. Enough about underwear. <clears throat> More accurately, my cargo contained items from Ergo Research. My trip to Kagoshima was partly vacation, but also to oversee their transferal to Yakushima. I guess speaking. I see. Understood. It's as you suspected. They found that one of the boxes scheduled for transport has gone missing. I thought as much. We must get it back, I guess. The rest of the team can finish up here. I need you to come with me. Will you be joining the search as well? Well... I am personally involved, so yes. In other words, you will officially rejoin the unit and participate in this mission. <sighs> to be more direct, is it accurate to say that you are abandoning your vacation? Then I hereby transfer command authority to you, Mitsuru-san. Regulations state that the member with the lowest serial number is to take command. And since you are member number one, the official leader of the Security Department Shadow Response Unit, also called the Shadow Operatives. <sighs> I had a feeling I wouldn't be able to enjoy this vacation for long. But I can't allow anyone to be hurt again by the things we... The Kirijo group created. We'll get this cargo back at all costs. Mission or no mission, I'm making it a personal priority. Understood. <laughs> <laughs>